Okay, so as you know, I don't normally do a, a voiceover on my sharing videos, but I just wanted to talk you through my new tools, which is basically what this video is about. Um, so yeah, let's crack on and see how we get on with them. First up is the buffer, clench cutter. I've not used one this style before. I normally have one with a sort of like a T on the end. And that weighs fine. See, that weighs a little bit more tricky to control and to hold on to. I'm sure I'll get used to it if I can find the clench that I can cut off. But yeah, not too bad. It's a little bit slippery. I think I might have put a bit too much of a polish on it. Uh, if, if over time it doesn't get any better, I might have to put some sort of resin or something on it bit of grip tape or something. Because if that gets wet and slippery, I'm never going to be able to hold on to that. But by the time it gets wet again, it may well have dulled itself down. Because unfortunately, it's gone from very wet and soft to very dry and hard very quickly, which isn't all that good for the feet. But hey-ho, it is what it is. So these feet are rock hard at the moment. So let's hope my new knife, which is this, will cut through. Yeah, not bad at all, considering how hard these feet are. I'm sure my other knife wouldn't do that. And it's about the right shape. Everything seems about right. Seem to have managed to have copied the one I made before which has been my best knife ever so yeah pleased with that the only thing is that I might have to sharpen the hook up a little bit more that the actual hook doesn't seem horrendously sharp but hey ho we've got no foot on so I'll just give it a bit of a rasp over and we'll try the other foot Come on, obviously mate. it's different when you're using going from one side to the other. I know it's it is the same, but it's somehow not. It's slightly different. That's the way that's a little bit more tricky. But this way, piece of cake. The edge is holding up. I've been using it for a few days now. This is the first day out for the knife, but the buffer I've had out for a, a few days. I'm slowly getting used to it. As I say, it hasn't chipped. Holding up nicely. Yep, nice, I like that. I thought the horn would be a bit long to hold on to, but actually it sits in your hand quite nicely and my thumb is almost on the end, using it like a lever. So yeah, pleased with that. I'm sure if the actual steel holds up, that'd be a cracking knife that should last me a fair old while. So that's all I wanted to discuss. I'll go quiet now and let you watch the rest of the video which is just a quick pair of removes sticking them back on because being locked down they're not doing a lot of work. So I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video.
Run that way a little bit, mate. That's it, good boy. Oh my Good boy. Hello, mate. What are you up to? Hey. Oh my good boy.
There's a good boy. No, I haven't finished it. Good boy. 